Hey guys. Okay, so um, some of you are wondering if it's true, if um, if there was really a permit issued to um, those who are participating in the witchcraft organization that's going to be taking place. Uh, they're they're, they're going to be doing their all their their witchcraft and their junk at the state capitol today in Washington State. They've been permitted, they so they're legally there uh, and they they're going to be um, bringing curses and all of that so what we're going to do is we're going to pray against that it's 1 11 right now it's 1 1 1 i love that my favorite number is the scripture um, that comes to mind is jeremiah 33 3 call to me and i'll answer you so 1 1 1 i think of father son holy spirit i think of grace love and mercy which is the counter to the forms of of the enemy that you know he's he brings guilt shame condemnation so we just right now we uh, what motivates by the way um, all witchcraft is the spirit of fear that God did not give us but yet perfect love God's love agape love casts out all fear so the word says that perfect love agape love casts out meaning deliverance uh, the spirit of fear. So when the spirit of fear gets shut down, so does the impact of witchcraft. So don't be afraid. Fear not. Do not be afraid uh, for the Lord is with you. And so let's pray together and let's believe God to uh, just to shut down, to null, nullify um, the, the prayers of darkness and that he would shine his light, even blinding light, like on the road to Damascus, where Saul was killing the Christians. He was renamed Paul. So they weren't even the same person, same name. Uh, yeah, same person. But there was a transformation that occurred when he was able to see. And so right now, God, all those who are uh, participating in witchcraft do curse uh, America. They're coming to curse uh, President Trump. We bind and break the power of darkness and every curse. Uh, be bound, be broken. Uh, every every assignment from darkness be broken. Be, and we ask for God, the, the, the dunamis power of God to come on. You said to bless those who curse, who curse. We bless them, God. And I pray in Jesus' name that you would touch every one of their hearts that comes against the agenda of the kingdom of the almighty God, that you would touch their hearts. I pray for adoption on their souls, that you would awaken them to the truth of your power, and that you send messengers from heaven endued with power from on high uh, by the blood of Jesus. Right now, I release the blood of Jesus over our state capitol building, over the grounds. I release warrior angels sent from the throne of grace in the mighty name of Jesus to go and to begin to attack the strongholds and let every curse be turned uh, it, it turned uh, on its end and and all the effects of of uh, of the curse uh, it will be broken i declare and decree by faith in jesus name and i pray for healing to come miracles to break out prophetic words from your heart god to be spoken and that there be a reversal yeah i i issue a restraining order <laughs> to the kingdom of darkness and i release the kingdom of heaven let the light of your countenance shine upon the faces of the saints that are heading over to the state capitol and i thank you lord for what you're about to do god that you're going to pour your spirit out on all flesh sons and daughters will prophesy old men dream dreams young men see visions Oh, the Lord's about to do something powerful in Washington state. When the enemy is losing ground, when the enemy is losing the battle, because you can't, you can't lose a battle that's won. And by the blood of Jesus, the battle has already been won for the saints of God. And so all the enemy can try to do is create fear tactics and try to get people dismayed. Uh, but God wants to put the enemy on display on display. And so I just release the dunamis power of God over the state capitol building. We bless Washington. Hallelujah. Come on, everybody. Just know that your prayers matter. Uh, be praying, God, for guys, for the political leaders. Uh, we, we bless God, President Trump. We pray for protection. Every curse that tries to be formed against the President of the United States of America will be turned on end, and every curse will be shut down, and those who even curse will be liberated and transformed by the light of Jesus, and they will fall in love with the one who loves 
them that that perfect love, agape love, will shut down the spirit of fear that is what drives witchcraft and control. And we declare witchcraft and control is broken right now in the name of Jesus. And we just release the blood of Jesus uh, uh, to cover over uh, the White House and over all the inhabitants and over the president and over uh, and Melania and, and the and the family God and 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 Baron and all the all the kids, Lord, for the Trump family and the Pence family and all those leaders, God, that you put in place uh, in the White House, God, in the Senate, uh, the legislative team, uh, Lord, I do, we just ask for blessing to, that people would uh, be able to receive from heaven. And when the enemy comes in like a flood, God, we know you raise a standard against him. And that standard is an increased anointing. And that anointing breaks the yoke, which is the bondage to sin. Hallelujah. So we re- release the blood of Jesus. We, uh, we, we, we repent and confess any and all sin, known or unknown, through the blood of Christ on those on behalf of those who don't know to do so. And we say those curses will not stick. Uh, you know, the Bible says uh, you reap what you sow or those who love cursing, sometimes they just receive it back unto themselves because they sow curses. But we bless them. He said, bless those who curse you. So we bless them. And we say this would be a great day for salvation in the witchcraft community. In the name of Jesus and the saints of God that are going there, may you do it with the power and the authority and, and the love and the blood of Jesus that washes away the damage of sin in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Come on everybody. So just know God's about to do something. Here's a quick story. One day I was uh, I was over in the capital uh city and the Lord told me I was with a friend Michael. And the Lord told me he said I want you to go uh, to the Capitol building. So I went into the Capitol building. It was it was right around uh yeah, it was right around the time of Halloween. It was around uh October a few years back. And the Lord says to me, uh, he says, I want you to uh, to go to the Capitol. I want you to anoint it with oil. And I want you to walk around and anoint the places that I tell you and speak words uh, that I give you to speak. So I told my friend Michael, I said, hey, man, we need to go to the state Capitol. He's like, why? And I said, well, I feel like God's saying we need to anoint it and we need to speak blessing and mm-hmm. speak life over it. And he goes, okay, let's go. So we jumped in the car, went to the state capitol, and, and we blessed it. We're anointing with oil on the outside, and then we go to the doors and inside. And then uh, I noticed that there was a tour that was beginning, and the Lord said, I want you to go on this tour. So I, I went on the tour. You know how they show you around the state capitol, and you get to see some of the places, and they, they walk you through and show you the different places. And so I was on the tour, and uh, in, in, the, uh, in the elevator, um, I, I started feeling the, the fire of God. I started feeling the fire of God. Well, the Lord told me that the woman who was leading the tour was, was in witchcraft, that she was a practicing witch. And I thought, wow, what is she doing here leading the tour at our state capitol building? This ought not be. And so anyway, I told my friend, I said, God told me she's a practicing witch, this woman. And, uh, and he goes, really? He goes, he goes well, what, what do you want to do? I said, well, let's, let's just pray against it. Let's, you know, let's believe God to, to set her free. And so anyway, we prayed, and, and I said, in the name of Jesus, and I'm right there with my friend praying, where two or more are gathered, there he is also in the midst of them. And when they agree on a thing, it's established. Something gets, happens when we pray and we agree, and all we need is two. And one puts a thousand angels flight, two ten thousand angels. So there's literally tens of thousands of angels going to thwart and just shut down into silence the voice of the accuser and the voice of the stranger. And uh, so, so anyway, we start praying. And this woman, uh, as we're praying, as I'm praying, you know, with my friend, he's agreeing with my prayer. And uh, and so as we're praying in Jesus name, I, I command uh, that spirit of witchcraft to be dethroned in the state of Washington. And I take authority because I was given authority as a as a son uh, of the living God and assigned to this demographic. And the Lord said he's going to wash Washington, that it needs a ton of washing. He calls it wash a ton. And he said, if they confess their sin, I'm faithful and just to forgive and to cleanse them from all unrighteousness. And that cleansing is the washing for Washington. And so I release the washing for Washington. And we repent on behalf of those who don't know to do so by the blood of Jesus and confess any and all sin. Those who have been participating in dark things that have given legal access to the state that are in positions of authority and influence. Lord, we just repent on confess and confess any and all sin on behalf of those saints who don't know to do so. And those who don't know you, I declare and decree that today that they shall know you, the God who 
who is, not the God who was, and that you would infiltrate right now that state capitol building with Christians that are full of the Holy Ghost and in agreement with heaven to bring in the mighty harvest that those those who are in witchcraft, those who are in darkness, motivated by fear, that are love cursing, that they'll be set free and that they will be filled with the Holy Spirit and be added to the team of duplication for the kingdom of God, clutched from the fowler's snare in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So anyway, here's what happened. So we're in the elevator now. We step into the elevator and um, I'm praying and I'm releasing the fire of God. Well, the woman who was leading the tour, she starts getting super hot. And actually, the, it really did start to heat up. And we step out of the elevator and she's getting hotter and hotter and hotter. And she's feeling the fire and she just goes, is it hot? And she starts to tremble under the fire of God, the anointing of the Lord. And she starts trembling. She says, is it hot? Are you hot? And she looks around trying to see if anybody else is hot. Well, no one else was feeling it. She was feeling in it because she was in darkness and the fire of God because our God is a consuming fire literally started coming on her and she's feeling the fire of God because God's answering a prayer as we're releasing what you bind on earth will be bound in heaven what you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven so what we're releasing is being released what we're loosing is being loosed as because we're seated in heavenly places and she's so hot she pulls off her coat violently and she, and then her brooch comes off and it goes ping ping ping, 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 along the floor of the state capitol building while she's giving us the tour. And I'm like, what? Her brooch just fell off. And it was of a witch on a broom. And it would look like it was made of pewter. And I thought, wow, this woman's brooch. And you know what she said? My witch, my witch fell down. And the Lord said, Lucifer has been dethroned in the state capital. The enemy is trying to gain back the ground that he lost, and it's not going to work. So I prophesy over the state of Washington that this is a day that marks the beginning of a revival that will sweep the nations of the living God, and that he will shake it with his power and his love, his dunamis, mighty power, and he will move mountains on behalf of the saints that will Walk in the favor and the flavor, in agreement with the king, with no hidden sin, but on fire, contagious, outrageous lovers of God will bring about the changes back to Washington state that are needed uh, for the Lord to receive his maximum glory. This is the moment we've been waiting for. There's a turning of the tide. That woman immediately abandoned the tour and because she was so frustrated because the Lord frustrates the plans of the enemy. Darkness, when it gets darker, the light shines even brighter. Let your light shine today before men. That woman didn't know why in that moment she was rendered powerless. That, that witchcraft will be rendered powerless powerless and what the lord is about to do is put the enemy on display and those who are cursing will become those who will bring bring blessing those who are motivated by the spirit of fear and control which is witchcraft and rebellion because control is is as a sin of witchcraft because witchcraft is to craft apart from god and we speak that they will craft they will become crafters with God, that they will co-create and be collaborators or co-laborers in the kingdom of God. Those who love darkness are about to find the light and they're going to be transformed by the blinding of the light of Jesus that will cause them to have a road to Damascus experience, much like Saul became Paul. Same man, different name, new creation. Old things pass away. Behold, all things become new. Share the post and pray because they're about to assemble here, I believe, in like one hour or so. So, but, but just start praying it up right now. And if you're in the area, guys, and you're full of the Spirit and you're in right relationship with God, uh, go into that battle if the Lord sends you in. But don't go if you're not assigned to go. Uh, but ask the Lord if there's any error in you, is there anything that is there any open sin in your life? Confess that, be cleansed, and then resist the devil, and he'll have to flee. And uh, the best way to do that is pursue the Lord, the King of Kings, and automatically you will be resisting the devil. So be blessed, you guys. Love you guys. I'll see you soon.